Hey guys, it's Margaret with Sassy Southern Shopper Mom. Thanks for coming to my YouTube channel today. Today I am going to show you our 2017-2018 school year books that we have purchased for homeschool this year. So first I'm going to start with this Jesus Calling. It's a 365 day devotions for kids. We just got this. And it goes every day through the year. Gives you the date. I don't know if that a... Come and focus where you're not, but it gives you the date. It does have a bookmark built into the book. We are going to use this on the days that we homeschool, and we're going to start out our day um, reading um, a devotion out of here. Um, for my daughter who is in K4, we are going to use this Science Fusion Science Book. It's a working textbook. She can color and draw in it in the sections provided. Uh, nice colorful photos. Um, it's something really fun and easy for her. It is a kindergarten version. She is in K4. But we... Um, are making it work for this year. We may review it again next year, but she is doing really well understanding the concepts. See, they have sections where they can draw um, to go into it. Um, so that is her science textbook. For her math, we are using Go Math. This is the Go Math textbook. It is very colorful, lots of stuff. Um, for her to practice with. I also um, have bought math manipulatives for her to use. We have a hundred of these. For, it's actually for my son and her both to use. Um, but these have been very helpful for her. Um, this is a kindergarten book as well. Um, we will probably reuse this textbook again next year just to go over all the same concepts and to strengthen her math skills. Um, I also bought the standard um, Go Math practice book that goes with the textbook um, because if she understands a concept next year, we'll just skip out of the textbook and do a page out of here. Um, and this textbook, or this practice book, is just in black and white. It is not colored. So as for my daughter, those are the only textbooks that I bought for her. Everything else is either reading a book or going over like fry words or sight words that are made into flashcards. For her spelling, we practice writing the letters and the um, phonic sounds that each letter makes and that is for reading and writing as well. Um, so those I do not have a textbook for. I print out sheets from online. But for my third grader, he has quite a few more books because there are more books that I like for him right now. Um, that I was willing to purchase. So let me get started. For our um, language arts this year or language review, we bought um, the Spectrum Language Arts book. I like this book because it gives over here what you're working on, like nouns, pronouns, and verbs, and it tells you what they are and gives you examples, and then it gives you some practice. And then on this, it's another page of the same thing again, and it gives you practice to do it. And it has review. This is like the review section. Um, this review section you could use even probably as possibly like a test or a quiz. Um, and then at the end of each one, it gives you reviews again. And then it does actually have like a test test. Um, in here for reviewing but it reviews like everything so we have that then we also use the um, Evan Moore daily language review for third graders it gives sentences for him to correct properly it gives him the proper spelling of words to um, use it gives him word endings um, it's great to go hand in hand with the language arts book um, this book I do have to help him more on um, just because it doesn't always necessarily explain 
what concept or what something like a pronoun is to him unlike the language arts book and that is why we got the language art book because it will explain to him what a pronoun is and then it gives him work to practice on we're going to move on to his math we are doing go math with him as well this is the third grader edition um, nice colorful pages a um, little more work on each page than last year's book but you know he's a grade up so it's time to start working a little harder and a little more so with this book I did buy the standard practice book um, I did not buy it last year but this year I did because I found that we were understanding concepts but we were still going through the textbook so now if he understands the concept we can pull a practice page from here if he gets it all right then we will move on to the next subject or next topic in the book let's say for reading I have purchased an Evan Moore daily reading comprehension book it gives him a passage it gives him questions and then it gives him either a skill practice or strategy thinking questions um, on the pages as well um, but I use this mainly to see that when he reads something that he is comprehending what he is reading and then we also read chapter books or books that he gets from the library we are also using the Evan Moore um, the daily six trait writing um, book it will show him how to do um, different things to help with writing um, and then it gives like a teacher's guide area um, and it goes over what you're going to do for each page and what you should kind of expect from your um, student to have written there. Shows him how to help brainstorm ideas for writing. So we are using this. We used it on um, this um, last year for the second grade and we liked it a lot. For social studies we are doing south carolina social studies first if we finish this textbook um, then we will move on to the hardcore social studies it's our communities um, so first we're doing south carolina if he finishes it then we'll move on to this one if he does not finish this hardcore social studies um, one or get into it then we'll just use it for next year that's not a big deal we'll already have it on hand um, so those are his social studies um, this social studies one has lots of writing there's pictures there's questions everywhere so i feel it's like it's very engaging um so some of this stuff he kind of already knew because it does have like basic concepts um of regular social studies like map concepts map keys stuff like that and it's going over that as well so it's a nice little review in the beginning and then for science, we are using science fusion, energy science, um, it's, there is the new energy for science. This is a recycled textbook, um, meaning that everything um, paper-wise to make the book has been recycled material. And it can be recycled again because it is recyclable paper. It's the same as my daughter's, the same company, so hers can be recycled as well. But it is a working textbook. It will give passages sometimes in the beginning and based off those pack, uh, the passage, it might ask him to go find the main idea. Like this one's like, you are reading this page, circle the five steps of the design process. So he would go through and find the five steps of the design process in the passage. So that is his science. For social studies, we are using an online printable list from K-12 reading. Um, and we print the worksheets out from there. But that right now is everything that we have purchased for our 2017-2018 school year. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe down below. Also hit the like button if you liked the video. And don't forget to share for all your friends can see my 2017-2018 school book um, haul or school books that I have purchased for my kids this year. Thank you for watching and I hope this video encourages and inspires you.